Howdy, Mr. Sirkos. Good day to you, Miss Walker. How's our friend Hans Vorlberg coming along? Uh, not great news. Ah, well, if I can be of service. Whatever you require, don't hesitate to shout. Mr. Sirkos, I'm worried about Hans's health. Dang, it's all my fault. Never should have asked him to do me that favor. What do you mean, favor? No major work or anything, just to get my wind-up Broncos back in again. Oh, don't blame yourself. Hans was already ill before he came to see you. You've got nothing to do with it. Mr. Sirkos, you wouldn't know someone who could treat Hans Varlberg, would you? Oh, not many pill pushers around here. Guess there's always the monks. The monks, you say? People around here say the Patriarch of the Monastery has healing powers. They also say he's a dingling, a bit of a fanatic, if you know. Well, whatever. I have no choice. Mr. Sirkos, could you please introduce me to the Patriarch of the Monastery? Mm, want my opinion. Best stay right away. Oh, why is that? Have you ever heard a showman and a priest sing a duet together? They think my cabaret is a den of debauchery, and that I'm a funky old miscreant luring lambs from the altar. Really, Mr. Sirkos, we're not in the 19th century anymore. But we're not too far here, Miss Walker. Believe me, best I don't put my finger in that part. Do the monks have a telephone? Uh, they don't even have electricity. You'll have to go up there in person, Miss Walker. Then try to convince them to take care of your... How do you get up to the monastery? When you go out of here, turn right. You can't miss it. Thanks a lot. It's colder than the North Pole out there, Mr. Sirkos. Do I have to go up to the monastery on foot? There isn't some other form of transportation? Don't even think about it, Miss Walker. Only pony can make it up there is Shank's pony. You're going to have to use your feet, I'm sorry. I've got to go now. Go quickly, Miss Walker. Mighty kind, Miss... Malka? Yes, Kate? My friend Hans is very sick. He needs taking care of. Oh, otherwise he's going to die, isn't he? Like Mama. I don't know. He wants to get to the end of his journey so badly. Sometimes that is not enough, Kate. Since he was really young, Hans has dreamed of a land called Siberia. Siberia doesn't exist. It's just a story they tell kids to make them sleep. And I'm no kid anymore. I believe the story, though, Malka. So, you're going to have to help your friend, Kate. Tell me, do you know anyone who could help heal my friend Hans? Zirkos has special tonics in his bar. No, I need a real doctor. Then you'll have to go to the monastery. I suppose there are monks at the monastery. That's right. Monks with big black robes. They're really creepy. There's nothing to be afraid of. As monks, they must be good men. And you tell me they can treat Hans? The Patriarch is a stern old man. He won't treat your friend if you don't follow the monastery rules. How do you know that, Malka? He wouldn't look after Mama straight away. Because of the rules. That's why she's dead. I'm sorry, Malka.
Mr. Sirkos? What can I do for you, miss? Tell me, Mr. Sirkos. It was you who took in that little girl Malka into your care, wasn't it? I just couldn't bear to leave a little girl like that. What happened to her mother? Oh, a gypsy woman fleeing God knows what monkey business. <laughs> she got here half dead and crazed with fever. The monks helped her, isn't that right? Uh, you could say that. When they stopped being high and mighty, they took her up to their monastery for treatment. But it was far too late for the poor girl. Them old crows make up their own rules. They'd leave a man to rot rather than get their habits dirty. I don't like them one bit. What rules are you talking about? It's a phony old custom. To decide whether a dying man is actually dying at all, the patriarch of the monastery looks at the patient's face before deciding yay or nay. But how? I don't understand. They kind of make this print of the face on a piece of cloth, you know, like the shroud of Jesus in the Bible. I must confess I don't really understand this shroud story. You'll see, just outside the village, the monks have put this kind of iron box. A box containing a pile of linen sheets. When you put one of these sheets over the face of the sick man, it has the curious property of soaking up all his sweat and juices. So effective it is that all the features of his face can be seen on the cloth. And so the old patriarch looks to this print to form his diagnosis? At least what he can judge is whether that face on the shroud is sick enough to get dragged up those rocks to the monastery and be treated by him. I suppose anybody can take a cloth from the crate if he needs it? You suppose wrong, Miss Walker. One person has charge of the distribution of the said shrouds, and that's Malka. She sure is proud of her position. The Patriarch himself gave her the responsibility, and that kid ain't giving it up for no- I've got to go now. Go quickly, Miss Walker. And good luck. Mighty kind, Mr. Sirkot. Tell me, how is it going? He told me why they couldn't treat her at the monastery. Yes, Kate. Sometimes. People get too sick, and there's nothing that can be done. Is your friend too sick? I hope he isn't. I'm going to help you, Kate. Can you help me, Malka? Hmm. Only if your friend is a little bit sick. Not too much, or you'll be sad. We'll see. Let's give it a try, you know? Like for your mother, with the monks. On the road to the monastery, there's a kind of box with sheets. The monks call them shrouds. I'm going to give you a token so you can get one. It's very important, Kate Walker. Then what do I do with this shroud? Take it and lay it over your friend's face. <sighs> okay, I'll give it a try. Thank you for your help. Come back and see me. I like you, Kate. <coughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
How's it going? Father, Hans doesn't want to stay in the attic anymore. What happened is... Is it going? Hi, Mr. Sirkos. What can I do for you, miss? Excuse me, I'm sorry to disturb you, uh, sir? Blessed art thou, my sister. What can I do for you? Um, my name is Kate Walker, and my train is currently at the station in Romansburg. Oh, oh, Romansburg. Pretty town, but not the kind of town for pretty strangers. Pretty, solitary strangers. <laughs> I don't intend to hang around long, brother. I'm traveling with an old man, Hans Vorlberg, and... <laughs> Vorlberg? Did you say Vorlberg, my sister? You know him? No, <laughs> but I know someone else. <gasps> ah, can you hear? It is the sweet song of the Merula Alba. If only I could catch a glimpse... Such a rare, pretty bird. Few are they who say in truth they have spied her beauty. <laughs> it is probably seeking some other Merula Alba. My friend is very ill, you know. 
It is God's will. God's will. <laughs> what can I do, my sister? What can I do? Maybe you could visit him at his bedside. Oh, 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 never, my sister, never. I would incur the wrath of our lord and patriarch. <laughs> I'm looking for someone with a medical background. Someone who can tend to the sick. Our patriarch is a remarkable doctor, my sister. He cures bodies as well as souls. <laughs> you couldn't help me, could you, please? I am but a simple monk. You have to go see our patriarch yonder, in the monastery. You say that I could find someone to help me, up there, at the monastery? Yes, at the monastery, oh yes. <laughs> I rang at the monastery, but there was no reply. Maybe they don't want to let me in. Can you tell me, is there another way in? There is no other way, my sister. <laughs> Why won't they let me into the monastery? Dura Lex said Lex. <laughs> I'm sorry? The law is hard, but it is the law, my sister. <laughs> what law? I don't like questions, my sister. The law is the law is the law. I must absolutely find a doctor for my friend. I just do the laundry, my sister, that is all. Down here, there are some doctors, and others do the laundry. You are going to make me late. you hear? <gasps> it is the Merula Alba again. Why won't you help me? I must finish my chores before Evensong, my sister. You live in the monastery, I suppose. That is right, my sister. <laughs> Are there many of you up there? A few old monks. <laughs> You are those who heed the calling in this age. Tell me, what have we got to do to get into the monastery? You must pull the rope that rings the bell, my sister, but not too hard, or you will scare the birds. Don't scare them. A monk will show you in. Thank you. Um, I rang the bell, but the monk at the door doesn't seem to want to show me in. There are rules. Rules and traditions to respect here. Respect! <laughs> what rules? What traditions? That some people are less worthy than others. Okay, so how does that monk up there make an opinion about my worthiness by just looking at me? It, it, is, it is not a question to ask, my sister. You're telling me that I'm not worthy to enter your monastery? I didn't say. No. I just... I just wash dirty laundry, that's all. <laughs> yes, you did say that. You implied I wasn't worthy. Femina inconcessus. <laughs> I don't understand Latin. Latin, like the birds. Erythacus rubecula, picus viridis. Merula Alba. You speak Latin, then? Oh, monk's Latin. Pigeon Latin. Hmm. You seem to know the Latin names of birds. <laughs> pretty birds. Pretty birds. Picus Viridis? Woodpecker. How about Erythacus Rubicula? Robin Red Breast. And Merula Alba? White Raven, my sister. Femina Inconsusus? Women. Forbidden. <laughs> uh, no. It... Right. I get it. Because I'm a woman, I'm forbidden access to the monastery. Now I understand. That's the rule, sister. I can't change the rules. Of course, brother. Women are the source of all sin. Isn't that so? What is a Marula Alba? A rare bird. <laughs> it can never be seen as it is as white as snow. 
They say that when a man sees it, his mind clears and his intelligence grows and grows. There seem to be a lot of birds around here. Yes, yes, but the only one that interests me is the Merula Alba. I'm going now. I'll be back soon. What? Colonel? Ah, Miss Walker. Colonel, you don't have one of those whistles for making bird noises among your many treasures here, do you? A bird call? Why, I sell them by the truckload during the hunting season. I've got a whole collection of them. I think I've got just what you need somewhere Our route is still long and my friend is suffering. I don't know what to do. Siberia is hellish cold at this time of year, Miss Walker. And journeys take an age. Your friend isn't in the prime of youth anymore. Thanks for all your help, Colonel. D And do you plan on returning it? Ever? Okay, no. Can 
you here? Can you hear? The Merula Alba. It is calling to me. Calling to me. 